All right, welcome back. The Fallon Green Wave is now a powerhouse in football. Thanks in large part to the man who's joining us right now. Longtime head coach Brooke Hill is here in studio. Thanks for coming in, coach. Appreciate having me. Boy, after 15 years of being the head coach, you decided to step away. Why did you think now was the right time? Well, you know, I, I'd actually thought about it over the last few years. Um, my youngest son, Tristan, had graduated last year. And um, I had two boys, Ethan and Levi, who had played for me before and were playing junior college football right now at Feather River. And um, I just kind of got to the point where I felt really divided mm. over it. Um, I kind of felt I'd done my job that yeah. I wanted to do. Sure. And maybe it was time to move on. I didn't want to be, you know, watching one of their games, worried about what I've got to do in Fallon, get ready for a game, or be in Fallon sure. and wish I was at one of those yeah. games. So it just felt like a good time. Me and my wife, Alicia, had talked. Felt like it was probably a good time. Yeah, be able to go watch their games instead of trying to game plan for your own game that week. Absolutely. You know, and I, when I talked to my own players, it was... Uh, you know, hey guys, you know how I am. I'm all in. Yeah. And if I can't be all in, then I need to reevaluate. Just, you know, to be fair to them. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, looking at the stats, 15 years, 177 wins and two state titles. Uh, when you first took that role, if you look back to, from then to now, you got to be pretty amazed at what you were able to accomplish and what your kids were able to accomplish. Yeah, we've come a long ways yeah. in that matter of time, you know. <laughs> Uh, part of it because of great coaching staff I had with me. I really want to mention my, my main assistant coach, Lala Otuafi, who is a, a name people around sure. Reno should know, yeah. um, as he was a McQueen grad. Uh, but, you know, he was really, we were a two pa a package deal. He did a great job of sticking with me that entire time as my offense coordinator. A bunch of other coaches, too, to make sure it happened. Uh, but, you know, we truly, really tried to change the culture. And I felt that we were, you know, successful in doing those things, just focusing on. You know, we had three words in our program that were big, important to believe, trust, and family. And I think those kids really bought into that. And then the rest took care of itself. How special is it to be a part of, I mean, what, thousands of kids going through that school and being a part of their lives? And maybe they don't go on to play football even in college, but, you know, playing sports kind of helps develop them into men. Yeah, I mean, that's a big reason why I got into it, you know. Um, I've always been an athlete myself, and when my days were over, I looked at, you know, who are the people who really, beyond my parents, who really were mentors to me, and it was my coaches. And I just really felt like that's where we could make a difference. Um, we've got, like I said, thousands of them. We've got some really good players that have sure. come through and some that people never heard of. And they're all very special to me, and they've all done just tremendous jobs in their lives. And that's probably the thing we're most proud of. Yeah. And all of them had a part in these wins and this success, even if they weren't the big stars. They all were building blocks and part of that team. Absolutely. You know, we, we talk about that a lot and go back to our very first year in 09 and uh, how important those kids were at setting it for us. Yeah. Really, there was no expectation back then. Sure. And then just believing in what we were doing. I talk about those words, believing, trusting what we were doing, and then as a sense of family. And I'll still see some of those kids from back then. And, you know, it's still family to them and to me. How hard was it to, you, you kind of, I mean, I think you knew it was the right time, but still hard to make that, pull the trigger and make the call. Well, the hardest going to be, we probably need to ask my wife in about six months. <laughs> right. of, Get out of the house, right? right of how things are going to be, <laughs> but, and what I'm doing at that point. But, you know, I feel good about the decision. It's definitely difficult because it's something we've built as a community and as a family yeah. there. And it's, it's something that I'm extremely proud of and put a lot of work in, but I also know it, that, that at some point, you got to step away, and someone else has to take the reins. And I felt, you know, like I said, this was a good time for that. And you're not going to disappear. You're still going to be coaching in the classroom there as a teacher. Yeah, I've been a uh, social studies teacher in the district for 25 years, and I teach government and uh, really enjoy that a lot. Uh, like I said, I don't know what it's like to have a summer off, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll enjoy this summer a little bit and, uh, you know, still do the job in the classroom. And, and you know, I, I, yes, I'm a coach and everybody calls me coach, but, you know, I'm really there for all kids, kids sure. in my classroom too, and, and they, they know that. Well, I appreciate you coming in. And, man, you really, you really helped lay that foundation. Like I said, now, you know, Fallon is a team to deal with year in and year out. you got to feel pretty good. You're leaving in better shape than you took it over. Well, yeah, and that, that was the key. You know, when I took it over, um, it was a little better shape from Coach Ray Holiday, sure. who came in uh, and I coached with. And then I was able to kind of take it, and we were able to take it to another level. And that's hopefully, you know, the thing. Whoever comes in next is going to be in a good position to keep running with. That's what we want to see. 
For sure. Hey, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Thank you. We'll be right back.